We are doing photo retouching with Photoshop and Firefly. So first, open up your photo and there's filter and neuro filters. And this is literally amazing. Let's just see what the colorize does really quick. This is what it does automatically. <laughs> Which is, see, it's so cool because I've, I've never seen my grandparents, so like, I don't know what they look like. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, this feels a little bit more real. You can change the coloring here and like the profiles. And what I like to use is like the paintbrush tool. It's like color replacement. Okay. So this is like super easy. So if I just wanted to do the blue, you just alt and then like use the key dropper to kind of drag around where you want. So I kind of want this blue. You just kind of color away. I love this tool, the color replacement. That is amazing. I really like the camera raw filter. I just like kind of like tilting it, right? Make it more straight. Also too, like since there is this glare, we could probably try to fix this using generative fill. I'm just gonna see what it does. <laughs> we have a few <laughs> different ones. I kind of like this one the best. I do, yeah, me too. So this one, you go to Smart Portrait. Already can pick up the faces. Here you have like happiness, facial age, hair thickness, and eye direction. And so let's do her. Oh, see? Oh, that one did it really well. We can kind of move on to actual retouching. Oh, awesome. Let's do some actual stuff, because here, right, his face is totally... Yeah. It's ripped apart, <laughs> so... So I feel like a trick for using generative fill is to kind of do it in sections. So sometimes okay. I kind of like to take the clone stamp tool, which is on your left, and just kind of like almost make like little paths to kind of separate it. Also the remove tool, that one you just like highlight. As I love this tool. This one definitely helps with photo restoration. That's when I would use like generative fill right here. Let's just see what this comes up with. This is the whole, really the whole face being selected. Uh, oh, that one looks so cool. Like, I feel like it did the nose and mouth so well. I love that. Like, I just got rid of, like, that crack so easily. Nerf films have a lot of, like, restoration stuff. Okay. So if you're, like, new to restoration, I would go here first. So they have the colorize option, but also there's the photo restoration. So this is, like, the scratch reduction. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So it kind of does it automatically. the window. But yeah, then you just kind of continue doing like either like the remove tool, if you don't like it, the generative fill, it's really nice. And it's kind of fun. Now that I have all these photos that I can send to my family, you know, it's awesome.